was going to try again with a smartphone, which I know is a bad idea because I tried twice with her. The first time she wanted to keep her phone number, and that was a mistake because then you, you've you switched over your phone and you only have that phone, and you have a week to decide if you want to keep it or not, and she didn't like it, and I witnessed it, and then... It was so frustrating for her and for me, and I was there with her, there to try to help her. And and I went through absolute hell, because I it went through hell trying to switch from this flip phone phone number over to a smartphone. All day hell, all day hell, and getting it and going in person and all that, only to have, as I suspected would be the case, she didn't like it and didn't wind up keeping it, and getting her phone number back was nearly impossible. It was nearly impossible. I don't even know how I achieved that one because they said, I don't know if that's going to work out. You're dealing with a flip phone. It's not recent technology. So This next time we decided, because she wanted it again, and she's bugging me, and, and if I say no, then she has people in her life who are going to think that's abusive of me, or you just don't want your mom to have a smartphone. You think she can't do it. But no, I witnessed firsthand what you don't know, you fucking bitches. Anyhow, Selena knows too, because she deals with it. She deals with it. She knows my mom's getting a smartphone now, and she still remembers that my mom was so frustrated and Selena was trying to help my mom over the phone. But the second time, we were smart. We kept both. This was even worse. Kept the flip phone active, got the smartphone. My mom didn't want to bother practicing. So she wants the fucking smartphone, doesn't bother practicing on it, and you're not going to learn it. I, I teach you, but you have to practice. You have to practice making phone calls. Practice, practice, practice. Nope. Doesn't want to do it. Stubborn, defiant. So she wants a smartphone, but in, in theory, sure, get a smartphone, but it doesn't work out practically. She's not able to do it. And, of course, church woman and anyone else thinks, oh, we'll just teach her and she'll be fine. No, I predict disaster will ensue again. And this time there'll be nobody around to help her. And it won't look good because she'll get frustrated and, and whatever. And I'm not going to let her have both phones. That's the thing. It won't force her to learn the smartphone. I'm going to cancel that account. It's in my name. So I won't cancel it immediately. But I'm not going to let her be able to, if she can fall back on the flip phone, she won't learn the friggin' smartphone. She's not going to have a smartphone and a flip phone or have a smartphone just for appearances or because people think she should have it or she feels like she should have it or whatever. I will cancel that flip phone. It's in my control. I know if it was in my mom's control, she'd have both phones. So, nope. Ain't happening. No one gives a fuck about my feelings. No one cares that I think she shouldn't have a smartphone. And that's not me being mean. It's me witnessing firsthand twice and going through hell to get her the smartphone. Wanting, you know, she wanted it and ended it, whatever, and it didn't work out. You know, accept your limitations, but whatever. Not to mention the fact she's going to be bombarded with spam calls and she that doesn't happen with the flip phone and so many other things. But it's not in my control. And then I have to be lectured of she's heard and by church woman and have to be lectured of your mom just wants, you're special to her and that's why she wanted you to have that stupid music box that I did not want and I told her I didn't want it up front and I would have, if I'm paying a thousand dollars for a Rilla cube, I would have brought the stupid music box with me if I wanted it. And they send it in, the, it's, it's, it's made in China and they send it in the styrofoam, they don't even protect it, it's overpriced and... You know, I don't like stuff like that. I don't want it. No. I don't even have a dresser bureau here. My clothes are all over the chair over there and they won't even fit in the friggin' closet. I don't want the stupid music box. You have to respect that I don't want it. And I'm supposed to return it. You have to, it's from Bradford Exchange, but I called and complained immediately. And I'm like, I'm like, I thought that my person who does shovels of snow had buried this or something. I didn't. I had to, I think it was something did happen to it, it snowed on it, it's, they sent it in just a friggin' styrofoam. Like, 
and it's not cheap. With shipping and tax, and it, 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 it's, you don't send a friggin' music bus. It's just, to me, it's just like saying, it's just a slap in the face. It's supposed to be this nice, delicate little thing, and you send it just in styrofoam. Can't even be bothered to put the styrofoam into a cardboard box like everyone else does. Styrofoam is to protect it, then you stick it in a cardboard box and mail it in a cardboard box. You mail it in fucking styrofoam, and that in and of itself pissed me off, and I didn't want it. Then I have to be lectured. My mom's hurt. Why don't you want it? And then she doesn't even tell me she's sending it. And then she sends the the, the liquid pristine with the and doesn't even put, has the common sense to put it into a into a Ziploc bag or something. Puts it in the cardboard just like this. It could have spilled out everywhere. It didn't have the pop on the spray bottle. And 